This is my brand new remote control remote control and it is perfect for people who can never find the remote. And what makes it special is that I have remote here and remote here. And I can remotely control remote control using remote control remote control. And what makes it even better is that this new remote fits in my pocket and I don't need to look stupid in the street carrying my remote. Well, you might ask me, why have I created this, um, technological advancement? So anyways, what you should be asking me how I did it. So today I am not only going to show you the science of how it works, but also the process of making a soup, I mean, very serious project. What did he say? So I started with a sketch and a CAD making simple parts for remote. And for my design, I really thought in simple ways, like how do humans press buttons? They use fingers. So for simplicity, I chose solenoids, which as you know can only have two states, which is pressing on and not pressing off. And since solenoids do take up some space, I chose to only press five main buttons, which are on off, channel forward, channel backward, volume up, volume down. So how do I control these solenoids? And yes, you guessed it right. I use MOSFET switches, which are controlled by Arduino microcontroller. Simple, right? Well, there is one more detail that this device will be controlled by another remote control and it emits infrared signal. So how do we catch the signal? Well, here I have an infrared receiver which is connected to Arduino and using some fancy infrared libraries, I simply read the messages. And few lines of programming later, it was done. Wait a minute! You skipped an entire segment of PCP making. Did I? Or was it just a good transition into it? So of course I made a PCB, and if you want to know more about how to make your own PCBs, I have a great tutorial right here. And since talking too much technical stuff scares the viewers away, if you have any more questions about the electronics or other stuff, just ask me in comments. Then I had to manufacture the PCB, and well, let me tell you about a great PCB service provider named JLC PCB. <laughs> JLC PCB is one of the most reliable PCB manufacturers offering 5 PCBs for just $2. Yes, you heard me right. And if you're working on more complex design, they also provide 4 layer or even 6 layer PCBs at ridiculously low prices. Yep, they offer a high quality materials, precise manufacturing and fast turnaround times. Whether you need a standard PCB, flex PCB, some assembly services, or even a 3D print, JLC PCB has you covered. And using their site is very simple. You just insert your Gerber files and you instantly get a quote. And with all the coupons now, the prices are very low. I used JLC PCB to manufacture these boards and these 3D parts. And as you can see, the quality is fantastic, the traces are clean, the solder mask is perfect, and the 3D print quality is good. And everything arrived very quickly. So for your PCB needs, I would suggest using JLC PCB. Thank you for sponsoring me, JLCPCP. And now, since I got all the parts, with the magic of editing, I can fuse everything in just a few seconds. So after that, it was time to do the first test, and well... Oh, bad news! Why? What happened? That doesn't work. Yep, he's right. And my reaction was close to Clarkson's at first. So it seems like while rooting, I kinda connected the ground to the 5 volt root. And the conclusion of that was some burning cables. So after this quick fix, all I needed to do is design and print a case for the power and brain of this. Actually, I already printed it. And I put some thread inserts into it. I chose the golden and black colors because it kinda looks cool. 
and I made so that boxes would connect without any screws or nails. Then I added this Arduino which is surprisingly original. Then I added my remote control remote control shield. And lastly I added the power supply so it would power the whole brain of this operation. Oh yeah, and I put the solenoids in. Beep, beep, boop, boop. So in the end, what have I made? A way to control the remote control with the remote... Sorry, I think I already made this joke. So I could simply lay down on the couch, take out my small remote control from my pocket and simply remote control the remote control to remotely control the TV. And as you can see, it works very well. But the only problem is, I don't even have a TV signal. I don't even have any channels. So why have I made this project? Who fucking knows? So thank you. But wait, actually, what do my friends think about it? And as a very sociable person, I will do whatever it takes. Or maybe I'll just take them and wait for their approval. And modern problems require modern solutions.